It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast show and we are very excited because Holly LaRue is in the kitchen and she is going to show us this delicious dish. Now, if you follow Holly on social media, you will know that she makes, um, you know, the types of meals she loves to make. So we had to taste it for ourselves. Now, we have got the air fryer ready and going and Holly, you've got a beautiful little sauce going there for us. Talk me through what we are making today. So these are gluten-free air fryer meatballs Ooh. and they're my pre-game meatballs that I feed Billy. So he normally has like pasta, good carbo load before a game. Um, and these are super easy and for all the people who are gluten intolerant, it's a really great recipe. You use gluten-free pasta as well um, and a really good, like it's a very basic tomato sauce. Um, which the heat I love is over the there side. for us. Yes, if you just want to dial it down a little bit. It, yeah. um, and it's a very basic mirepoix, my favorite French word. Ooh. It's one of the first French words I learned. And it's literally a mixture of carrot, celery, and onion. And that's mm. your base. And then okay. you add all your tomatoes, your flavor, good glug of red wine, some balsamic to sort of balance out the flavors. And that's kind of just your basic tomato sauce, which oh. you can use in any pasta dish. Yes, and yeah. it sounds incredible, but we're yeah. also going to add some mints to yes, that. Yes, yes. Well, this is more for the meatballs. For the meatballs, yeah. And you've got a mixture of beef and pork, and you've got to make sure that your beef and pork is fatty. Don't be scared of fat, guys. It's not the enemy. Okay. It's where your flavor lies. Yes. And then it's so easy. You literally just bang it all in there, mix it all together. Okay, I'll get um, that in for us. We're yeah. adding some onions. Yeah. We're add some fresh garlic. Garlic. Yes. Yeah. And it's it's really nice to also weigh out your meatballs once you form the meatballs, just to get like a really even cook on it. And aesthetically, it looks beautiful. Definitely. Um, and the secret ingredient, so gluten free is is basically gluten in things. It binds things together. Okay. Um, so my secret ingredient is potato starch in this, ah. um, which is actually really good for digestion. So okay. potato starch secret ingredient, and we just mix that all together and form our balls. Is someone in your family gluten intolerant? that you focus on a gluten-free meal or so, do you just find there's more benefits to it? Well, that's specifically what I do as a chef is I help people with intolerances, whether it's lactose intolerant, um, gluten-free, or if you've got a nut allergy, shellfish. So it's a part of chefing that a lot of chefs are terrified of, but it's also a reality. I think yes. quite a lot of people nowadays have gut health issues. So it's something that I really love doing. Um, but I myself, is he beeping? <laughs> okay, I just added an egg. Our yeah. air fryer is beeping. I'm assuming it's ready. Okay, let's have a so look. I'm going to open it up for us. Oh, they are okay, beautiful. They look, okay. look at these. Okay, those oh. pop straight into the sauce, actually, Zoe. Okay, yeah. so what we, I've done is I've added the egg. We're going to add some chili flakes, and that is what we made the meatballs of. And you simply pop it into the air fryer. You've got it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, I mean, an air fryer is life-changing. Yes. How often do you use your air fryer? I use it quite a, quite a lot now. Um, I've got a, a massive one. <laughs> but you can have whatever size suits you. And it's super quick, super easy. Um, and it's just, it's just nice for people like who want after work, if they've got like a quick meal, they want to bung in there. But I think a lot of air fry recipes in the past have been quite unhealthy. Oh, I was about to say, that's yeah. the only, I just know how to put chips in my air right. fryer and right. I don't know how to make the healthy thing. Yeah. So I'm hoping you'll you'll change that perspective. Yes. <laughs> so I try and make it as, as healthy as possible. Um, you mentioned earlier about gut health. I actually struggled with gut health for many years. Okay. So I used to be gluten free. I used to be um, completely dairy free. Now I just focus on lactose. Um, so it's something that's a big passion project of my own personal stuff. Um, but it's also stuff that I help other people with. Because mm. you know? I know there's a lot of people struggling with their gut and it yes. often reflects. And, and the funny thing is, when things aren't right in your gut, it reflects in other areas of absolutely, your life. Absolutely. In your absolutely. skin, yeah. your stomach, it all yes. plays a role. Now, if anyone wants to know more information, perhaps if they want to be in touch regarding you know, your expertise, is there a way they can maybe reach out? Yes, for sure. Um, I get, I think I get like over 100 DMs a day. People who are really struggling with their intolerances and how to manage that on a day-to-day -day life, life basis and how to deal with food and what to avoid and mm. where should they shop and what ingredients are safe or that kind of thing. So DM me, absolutely. I'm here to help. 
um, and guide you on what probiotics you would like to use, what shops to shop at, what ingredients are good. So, okay. yeah. You might be the perfect person to ask yes. this because we've recently introduced a probiotic into our life. Yes. And I wanted to know from you, when is the best and when is the worst time to actually consume a probiotic? So it depends on the probiotic, but I consume mine after I've eaten so okay. that I can work on all that food. So it needs something to, to, work, to with. work with. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend taking it on an empty stomach. Okay. Um, okay, I think Look at this. So we've got some gluten-free pasta. I mean, yes. if you want to go cauliflower or yeah. any of the veggie pastas with zucchini yeah. noodles, oh, that can like, also Even like work. butternut noodles and all sorts. <gasps> Those are my new favorite People are getting ones. really innovative lately. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> You get all your veggies in. Yeah. I will finish this off with some parmesan for yes. us. Lots of that. That's delicious. Lots of that. Yeah. Where did your love for food? I know you've had your own health, you know, that you've been focusing on and that passion stemmed from there. Yeah. Where did your love, where, where would you say it ignited from for, for cooking? 100% in Japan. Um, Vili and I spent quite a few, we spent four years there. Sure. Um, and yeah, I, I absolutely fell in love with Asian cuisine. It's amazing. It's just the ingredients that are available there are incredible. Um, let's turn this guy. Look at this. Oh. It's raining parmigiana. Delicious. Um, and yeah, so then, and then I kind of just taught myself how to cook when I was there. Um, and then after that, I was like, no, 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 I need to go to chef school. So okay. I went to Silwood Chef School, um, which is actually in Cape Town. And it's the top chef school in Africa. Oh, they are wow. fantastic, really amazing. and just had the best experience there. Oh, fantastic. So you've yeah. just showed us how to make this delicious gluten-free um, uh, in fact, meatballs and spaghetti. Yes. We have your husband here. Vili, do you want to come and join us? Perhaps have a little TV taste. I feel like we need to season with some salt. Yes. I can, please. And some pepper. Yeah. <laughs> All the ingredients. Can I, can I, Jamie Oliver? I know. Trying to get, get the spices in there. Yeah. Oh, But you know what? An air fryer is life-changing in terms yes. of the healthy things we can do. Absolutely. When it comes to popping something healthy in here, quick yeah. and easy, when you get home from work, yes. what would you recommend or what's your go-to? Oh, butternut, always, butternut. always, yeah. And you put a lack of spice on it, some salt and pepper, and then just bung in a little bit of olive oil, bung it in there, and it's oh. so quick to do. Oh, I love that, butternut, I'll yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah. Vili, you gave us a, a, the, the, the traditional oh. sign for okay, <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Buy a lacquer. Buy a lacquer. No, Buy very nice, lacquer. very nice, very oh. nice. Yeah. How's your Afrikaans? Um, not so great, but I am learning. I am learning a little, little day by day. Yeah, how do you think it is? It's getting... Baby steps. So I know she's getting better. Oh. You can obviously understand a lot better now than yes. when I met her. Yeah. Um, so no, she's getting better and uh, practicing a lot. So yeah. oh. one day. Do you find with her incredible cooking, you have to kind of watch what you eat? Or are you one of those very blessed people that can eat anything and still stay trim? <laughs> no, when, uh, obviously when I'm up in Pretoria now, I'm, I'm alone a lot of the time, so I have to try and make my own food or just go get food that's easy. Or I love sushi, so I just go buy sushi a lot of times. But when, when Ollie's with me, we eat all these nice things with healthy. all the good ingredients, healthy and all of that. But it's, it's when I'm on my own that I'm, I'm not so healthy, but I'm, <laughs> I'm trying my best to. Uh, yeah. Aww. Well, listen, I feel like there's a new business idea. Yeah. Uh, meals for them to just pop in the microwave yes. and it's got meals a touch of Holly. Players. Yes, <laughs> there we go. I love what we've done here. Holly, yeah. thank you so much for showing this, this incredible recipe. And if you want to get your hands on this full recipe, all the ingredients we use, including the steps, you can just head on over to our website. That's expressoshow.com. Now, there's one extra plate. Who's going to get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah.